Now we're going to create a fever chart, and it's very similar to the bar chart. Uh, again, we will go to our toolbox, and we will click on Line Graph Tool. Click and drag to the area you want your chart to appear. Go into uh, the tab up here, and we will get our uh, text. Our information hit click OK and there it is the structure <clears throat> is very um, similar to the bar chart only this is a fever chart now the thing about a fever chart is that uh, you can only use fever charts as long as you have two scales now the the information we were working with uh, have been working with has been the months of January through December that works fine because that's a timeline and to do fever charts, you need to show a continuum or a trend over a period of time. Um, all fever charts can be bar charts, but not all bar charts can be fever charts. If we were plotting uh, a bar chart and these were all uh, uh, prices of different types of cars, this would not work because that is not a timeline. If we were comparing time, you know, the prices of cars, that's what a, a bar chart works as, is a comparison of one unit to the next. This, on the other hand, is showing a trend. Okay, So you need to understand that. Now, as this information is plotted here, we can also do something else with this. We can, again, we can make this, I'm going to just duplicate this, and uh, so you can see the difference in this. I'm going to duplicate this chart here. Now, there's another option we have down here under the fever charts is to make it an area graph okay so what I'll do is I'll go under type or object graph type and I will select on the area graph tool and now watch what happens now you're you're gonna notice a couple things one all all the color uh, the area is filling with color and also you're gonna notice the time or the value scale is is changed this now goes to 250,000, whereas our previous chart went to 150,000 right up here. That's because the highest value was only uh, just over 120,000, between 120 and 150,000. This, on the other hand, what it is doing, it is taking the two values and adding them together so that you see uh, the value of the what is the apartments added on top of the value of the homes and that's why they call it an area chart because you're looking at the areas on the scale on the value scale the areas of value that they occupy so when you're there there you're adding the value on top it's going to make the the value scale even higher you understand so this is a little bit of a difference uh, it is a value scale it shows a trend but this also shows the total uh, volume or value or area that each of these two items occupy on the value scale. Okay, that's how that works.